Well, excellent. Another desert fly landing here thinking he's found something for free. You're just lucky you aren't a berserker. I hate those forest rats. They're almost as much trouble as the clerics. You have problems with clerics? Berserker, cleric? <laughs> They're both trying to squeeze us out of Tavar. They want to take us out. One needs men, and the other wants our land. Who wants your men? The clerics are short of new recruits. Didn't you know that? But they can forget getting them from here. They're not getting a single man while I'm here to stop them. I am William. I am the Duke's cousin. The Duke is in charge around here, and I'm gonna make sure he stays in charge. We are outlaws. Are you sure you have everything under control here? Only an idiot thinks they have complete control of anything. This is about stopping all the little crises becoming big ones. And I have one small crisis that I can use an outsider to solve. What do you need my help for? I need someone who isn't on the radar when it comes to the district overseers. Some of them are pissed about something. I need someone to deal with that. Chloe told me you'd have work for me. Well, then sometimes she is a good judge. Listen to what I have to say, and then you go back to her. About these district overseers. Who are they? There's Big Jim. He's in charge of the arena. Chloe, she manages the entertainment district. Then there's Mad Bob. He calls himself the Scrap Baron, and you'd better call him that. People don't call him Mad Bob to his face. Ever. And there's Blake. He takes care of things that need taking care of. They've all earned their place, all proven themselves loyal. But they all have their little problems, and they all want more. Tell me about Chloe. Chloe owns her cut of the takings. That's not like her to skip paying her tribute. She knows she's lucky to have the position she has. So I need an outsider to make her pay up. It's a little more... Diplomatic, coming from someone from the outside. And I need someone who isn't scared Chloe will shut them out of the entertainment district. Ask her for the shards, and find out why she's not been paying. If you can't manage that, at least make sure she pays her outstanding debts. What about Blake? Say, are you even listening to me? Blake is the only overseer who doesn't make trouble here. He takes care of his own interests and does what people tell him. I only wish they were all like that. Tell me about Big Jim. Big Jim. Good fighter. He's kept the arena turning a profit. Only now he's beaten everyone who's challenged him. He thinks he's invulnerable. I've even heard rumors he's claiming he will take over from the Duke. Those rumors are true. How do you know that? Because he told me himself. Damn you, Jim. I should want him dead. Instead, I want you to fight him. He needs his ego deflating. You're to fight in the name of the Duke, and make sure that you teach Big Jim a lesson before I have to shut him up permanently. What is the problem with Mad Bob? Mad Bob, yeah. That is its own chapter. He oversees the scrap deliveries to the fort. They are a big source of profit. Only now there isn't any scrap coming in, and I don't know why. The desert might be dry of water, but there's no way it's dry of scrap. Speak to him and find out what's happening. I'm afraid he isn't delivering because nobody will work for him. But maybe it's something else. If you can get Mabob to start making deliveries again, I promise that will earn you a good reward. I will look into the problems you're having. That's what I wanted to hear. I run things for the Duke. Get things to move along more smoothly? Well, the Duke doesn't forget people who show him loyalty. Let me know how things go.
Are you looking for something? I challenge you to fight in the arena. Me? You sure you want to risk that? You'll get one chance to fight me. You lose, and you're gonna lose. And the fort will know where you stand for good. That's the way it works. So are you sure you want this? See you in the arena. Now there's confidence. I don't have any time right now. Right. Let's see if you're worthy of the respect you want. Ready? Ready. <laughs> what gave me away? Mm, shit. Shit. And you came for respect and you've earned it. Man, my chance is gone. Big Jim won't fight me now. You need to fight him. Someone has to. That's the whole reason I worked up to this point. You've got to do it. Just don't rush it. He needs to be beaten, and he needs to be beaten bad. So you get ready, and you beat him to a pulp. And I got something that can help make the fight easier. What's your plan? We can't talk about it here. We don't want to be overheard. Let's talk somewhere else. So what's this trick for beating Big Jim? Give me 500 shards and we're in business. With the beating he gave me, you've taken my livelihood. So I'm gonna need something. And I'll give you some extra information as a bonus. The word is out that you want to join the outlaws. And if so, you're gonna have to fight Big Jim. That's a challenge for anyone. So my advice isn't just about money. This advice will open doors to a whole new future. I've already paid you 500 shards. Information is a commodity. Come on. You wouldn't expect food or beer or armor for free just because you bought some before. So pay up. You've had all the shards you're getting. Do you want another beating? All right, all right. Make sure you give Big Jim a real beating, okay? So... This is your way forward. Big Jim is a drinker. A big drinker. So you give him this to drink. This is his favorite stuff. He'll go for it for sure. And he won't know what's hit him. What is this stuff? It's a chem the Doc mixed up. It'll slow Big Jim right down so you'll be able to beat him. Trust me, he smells this, he'll drink it, and you'll be a step closer to being champion. How about a drink? A toast to your future in charge of the fort. Right. You think I'm dumb? You think you can get me drunk and beat me? You think I'm that dumb? Well, I'll show you. I could take you drunk or sober. Give it here. About the arena. I fought Ike. I heard. And what does that get me? Oh, you're here to make a claim. Here, take your payout. I fought Gunn. That's what the arena is for. Looks like Gunn has passed it as a fighter. He must be if a newcomer like you took him down. But you're proving yourself. You're making yourself look good, so take your shards. You earned them. I challenge you. <laughs> you wanna do what? <laughs> challenge me? So, you think you're ready to fight me, do you? I heard you beat Ike and Gunn. Big round of applause. Well done, you. You think you're a fighter's fighter now, do you? All right, let's do this. You'll get your shot. Tell me when you're ready. 
I challenge you. I accept. Meet me at the arena. Right. Let's see what you got. We'll see. Draw your weapon. <laughs> <coughs> You've got lucky. Wanna go again? All right, all right, you were good. But you've cost me more than just this fight. No one's gonna follow an ex-champ. No one's gonna follow a loser. I'll never be leader now. You're giving up because you lost one fight? Nobody has ever defeated the Duke. Now they've seen you beat me. Do you think anyone is gonna choose me over him? Here, take this, I'll exit. Take it and get out before I ram those shards down your throat. About these district overseers. Big Jim has backed down. I heard he'd been beaten. He won't get any support to stand against the Duke now. He's already stepped down as a district overseer. He didn't even need to be pushed. You did the job well, and that wins you a share of the takings. I took care of Chloe's debts. Yes, Rat came to see me. He's paid Chloe's debts. It seems Rat has taken Blake's position. I've a feeling things are going to get organized now. So, not just a crisis averted, but an improvement. That is good work. Glad to help. Good. I will remember that. You're proving yourself useful here. We can use people with your talents. Mad Bob will start his scrap deliveries again. Good. We need that scrap. Profit is good for all of us. You survived Mad Bob. You must have a knack for getting on with people. That could be useful. You did a good job dealing with the district overseers. He will be pleased. Maybe you should think of joining us. The fort is open to you. I usually show my appreciation with Alexant. But in your case, I remember what you did to Iron Madison. And what happened to her means you will get nothing from me. Because I will have to spend shards finding a suitable replacement for her. Pay me, or more of your people are going to disappear. You really aren't out to make friends, are you? No. Then take the shards and choke on them. 